Greetings agents, Fayo here and in this weapon review we'll be taking a look at the Matilda, the semi-automatic three burst beast that you can purchase from the merchant and we'll be going through some of its intricacies and optimal way of usage. Some people seem to be confused about the Matilda thinking that it's a gun that should be used to prep those melee attacks or stop enemies in the tracks or crowd control by staggering them but in truth it's a weapon that's made to dish out a ton of damage in very very little time meaning it will fire really fast and it will go through a lot of ammo before you can even realize what's been happening so this is done on professional and as you can see here the bell assist is dead let's have another look at this I recorded this segment just to show you how fast the ammo goes and what kind of damage we're talking about. So without further ado, let's talk numbers and go into the specifics. So before anything else, we should talk cost of acquisition. The Matilda will set you back 10 spinals and the stock an additional 12. We're looking at 22 spinals, it's not a huge amount if you keep clearing the request from the merchant. They can also drop from defeated enemies and you can get them from chests that you break open. If you have any luck, you will have amassed this amount way before you leave the village and then you'll have options. If you want to buy a gun with pesetas, there are options and of course you want to buy the specific one that we're talking about, it will be available for spinalists. Tuning it up will always cost pesetas, so don't worry about that. The only investment required when it comes to spinals is the initial buying it from the merchant. Characteristics now. The Matilda and stock require nine slots in your inventory. That is three for the stocks and six for the gun. When it comes to its statistics, it has a power of two. That's less than half than the red nine max, but this is not a precision tool this is a pretty much spray and pray weapon and i will analyze its usage in a moment ammo capacity is up to 60 with exclusive upgrade which is insane a low speed 1.4 very very nice rate of fire of 163 which can be off-putting because it doesn't really take under consideration the amount of lead you'll be hosing if you're using the three burst and precision is 4.6 which seems excellent but it kicks so much when you fast fire you'll always have to compensate with adjusting your mouse or your aiming stick how are we gonna use this it's very different than most other guns in leo's arsenal this can be a substitute for the tmp more than it can be for the Red 9. It's a weapon aimed at crowd controlling enemies and putting in a lot of damage in a very short duration while expanding a huge amount of ammunition. The positive is that it's 9mm ammo that is very readily available. It can be found in crates, enemies drop it, you can craft it very cheaply and you usually get additional ammo whilst crafting it, which is excellent. Downside of this, during an encounter you'll often find yourself running out of 9mm ammo. Crazy as it sounds, there will be moments where you will just burn through all your 9mm ammo because the gun fires so fast. And when you're hosing down lead on enemies that are beefier, like you saw in my opening clips on Dr. Salvador or the Bella sister, you don't really want to swap to something more expensive to finish the job. You feel like the Matilda will take care of it and you are probably right in those occasions. The problem is what comes afterwards because you want your primary firearm to always have ammo to take care of the little stuff in your way. So it takes a bit of discipline, a bit of restraint. The game has a mechanic built into it where if you're running out of something it will provide it to a certain extent. Exclusions are the Magnum ammunition that is usually very expensive and the bolt thrower ammunition that consider itself, let's say, retrievable if you're not using mines. So very rarely will the enemies drop Magnum ammo or bolt bolts for the bolt thrower. But when it comes to 9mm ammo, you'll always get some. You'll often get shotgun cells, you'll often get rifle ammo. If you use all of your tools in a circular fashion 
you will always have a little bit of everything. If you go too hard on this, it will deplete your deposit so fast, you'll have to spend ammo of higher quality to take care of targets that you would usually prefer not to waste them on. Understand what I'm saying? You'll want this to take care of the simple Ganados or Novistadors and you will have to resort to the shotgun because you burn through your reserves. They can be replenished, it will just take a bit of effort and you'll have to navigate the encounter you'll be in in a more nuanced fashion if it gets to that point. It also doesn't feel like it has a lot of stopping power, it will not really stagger as much as other firearms. This is to be expected, but with this the whole point is to apply a lot of pressure damage wise so you kill the opposition outright you don't want to stagger them you want them dead you'll fire a lot of bullets and you will take down the target instead of staggering them if you want those headshots to stagger you want to go with the red nine if you want high crits you're going to go with the starting pistol these are all tools that are geared towards precision this although it boasts a precision of 4.6 is just a number that will allow you to compensate for the high kick because you will be spraying this thing all over the place the matilda compensates for an smg or for a tmp more than it does for your workhorse handgun a workhorse handgun like the red 9 will make every shot count and will take care of the little sheds in a consistent fashion this can be devastating in fire with fire succession, but it will also cost you bullets wise. If you use this, you might as well forget about using the TMP altogether and just stack red ammunition, handgun ammunition on those inventory slots and go ham with a almost fully automatic rate of fire. So I hope you found this useful guys. I've already covered the red 9 and I've made a review X comparison of the riot gun and the W870. I will have annotations of my gun guides at the end of this, so if you like content like the one I'm making, consider subscribing, sharing and liking this, and I would very much like to see you in one of our streams. Until next time, be well, stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers!